inherited this garden late May, and I always wanted to try the Three Sisters Gardening Method, which is the native way of farming. And that is, you plant your corn early, they say about the time of the oak leaf is the size of a squirrel's ear, and when it comes up four or five inches, you hill the corn and you plant beans, climbing beans that will climb up the corn and use it as a trellis. The beans, meanwhile, give the corn the needed nitrogen. Then you would come back after several weeks, re-weed the field, and plant gourds, pumpkins, squash, all the different yellow crops that you need. And these would spread out and keep those blasted raccoons away or other critters away from the corn. However, when I did this, I started in late May. And so I had to figure out how to do this in rows because I garden with a rototiller and how to be able to irrigate it and how to um, keep different corns separated because I was growing a glass gem corn, which is a cross between Pawnee and Osage. It's about 10 feet tall in the back of the garden. I was growing a red corn and then I wanted roasting ears in um, September and October. So I planted them all two weeks to, to three weeks apart and then had to come back with the beans. I tried an Anastasi bean from New Mexico. I tried regular climbing beans you'd buy in the grocery store. And the last one I put peas in. However, the squirrel ate those, not a success. I also decided, let's try this with African vegetables. So you can see I have okra with beans on one side and cucumbers on the back. They're all so very happy that they're growing over the, the spaces I had five feet aisles and both of them are so happy they're growing towards each other so I had to go through and chop the okra down to a bearable size. It's growing fabulously. Um, it's an African crop but it is adapted very well to Nebraska. We use it in gumbo, curry, chicken soup. And I also use this method to stake my tomatoes because I get 13 foot tall tomatoes and so Early in the season, I plant two or three seeds of a very tall corn, not your early season sweet corn, but a tall corn, late season sweet corn or an Indian corn. I plant two or three seeds between my tomato plants, which I need to put about two feet apart. And those corn stalks will stake the tomatoes until they get really heavy with fruit. If you want to do this in your home garden and you don't have a lot of space, you just want to do it the native way and that is plant a hill. You need to have at least four stalks of corn, maybe planted in a square or circle, so that um, the corn can help pollinate each other. Then you put the beans up the corn and you'll probably want to use a smaller vine like a cucumber because the pumpkin will over flood your garden. You can't outrun a pumpkin in July, October and, and from July to October. It'll outrun to the neighbor's side.